Someone's asked, how big is the cryptographic community? I think they kind of want a job. So in essence, the cryptography community divides into various kind of levels. So at the kind of the most technical area is the people doing academic research in cryptography. And these people are represented by an organization called IACR, International Association of Cryptologic Research. And that has about 1500 uh, members worldwide. But that's just a very, very small number of the total number of people doing cryptography in the world. Uh, alongside those people are countless thousands of people working in all sorts of different organizations, different from small companies to big companies, building cryptographic products and using cryptography to make services available to everybody over the Internet. And then there's also other people working in governments doing cryptography for governments. So it's quite hard to measure how many people are actually uh, working in cryptography in the world. However, we can have a pretty good guess for how many people are using cryptography in the world. Everybody with a smartphone or a credit card, or in fact, any form of electronic device is using the form of cryptography. Whilst I'm sitting here talking to you, my phone is probably already engaged in, in hundreds of different cryptographic communications, eating up its battery whilst I'm just sitting here. Someone's asked, do you actually need cryptography to be able to talk secretly? Well, actually you don't because in the Second World War, the Americans were fighting the Japanese and they wanted to have communication which the Japanese would not be able to decipher or find anything about. So instead of coming up with some really complicated code, what they actually used was a really complicated language. They got some Indian Navajos and they used Navajo to communicate between different units in the American army in the sure knowledge that there was no one in Japan who would understand the language Navajo. Someone has asked whether two ciphers are better than one, is whether if you encrypt something with one encryption scheme and then you put another one on top, whether this is more secure. Well, if they're both the same encryption scheme, not really. But if this encryption scheme ended up being broken, then the outer one would protect it. Or if the outer one was broken, the inner one would protect your data. So if you thought that one of the encryption algorithms was likely to be broken, by wrapping them together, one on top of the other, you obtain better security. But if you really believe that one's going to be secure, then there's no need to use more than one.